Okay, when it comes to politics, very few people uh, say exactly what they think, and in some cases, politicians shock horror lie, as this iconic clip of Bill Clinton denying allegations and affair shows us. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. I never told anybody to lie, not a single time, never. These allegations are false, and I need to go back to work for the American people. Okay, what does that mean? Um, but is it possible to separate fact from fiction no matter what we hear, what the person says, what uh, are his thoughts and what other leaders have to face up to in public for his take body? Language expert Alan Pease, good morning. Good Alan. morning, Carrie. Look, we've seen that before. Mm -hmm. Your view again, and just particularly, what does that mean? Well, that's what we call a, a baton signal. In effect, you like to get a stick and hit these journalists on the head for asking this question. So if somebody really bugs you and you'd like to hit them with a stick but you can't, you produce a finger stick and you start to talk like this. Unfortunately, what studies have shown with this finger pointing is that when people remember you later, they remember you in very nasty terms and they have the lowest retention of what you actually said. Whereas if, if you talk with your palms up, they have the highest retention of what you said and they remember you in more glowing terms. Oh, so that's positive. That's negative. That, that's the worst you can get. And the thing about that Bill Clinton clip is this means no. It's the first human gesture. When you put on the breast to drink, when you had enough, you make that movement. So that's our first learnt gesture. That's why all humans use it. Now, if you feel emotional or no, you make shake your head. If you feel yes, you make your head go this way. And he said, I did not have sex with that woman. Now, I did not have sex with that woman. Looks like I didn't have sex. As opposed to, I did not have sex with that woman. Wow. You idiot. <laughs> I do love that, though. Okay, his successor, um, uh, George W. Bush. Now, there was a, a famous shoe-throwing uh -huh. incident. Now, tell me uh, what you glean from his uh, reaction on this one as, as we roll the vision, because it's that immediate reaction, isn't it, it from is. people? Yes, that you just can't, you can't cover that because it's normal. Now, what are, what are we gleaning from this? Well, it, it, it look, appears to be smiling and laughing. But in mm. fact, what you're seeing is a basic chimpanzee gesture here. Monkeys and chimps have two basic smiles. One was where the corners of the mouth go up, and they make a little sound like... <laughs> and humans, we do it too. It's called a play face. shows that we're friendly, we're not aggressive. That's why when you meet people and they smile at you, you feel okay about them. The other version was where the corner of the lips go down, which is called a fear face. That's when you're showing you're scared. And he's, at, I mean, he's, he's in a situation where he could be shot, could be killed. So he's appearing to smile, but in fact, he's showing fear. And Lindy Chamberlain, if you remember, had the same gesture. She had that fear gesture, but it made her look as though she was laughing in the wrong circumstances. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got some other stills here, um, because he had a lot of expression at times, George Bush. So let's look at the, the first <laughs> photograph. Now, what about that? What's he thinking? Well, the answer in most of these things, the answer's nothing. Think of men that you know in your life who have these expressions. They sit there, and you'll see George Bush sitting at a dinner with... It's a bit Laurel and Hardy, right? Uh, it is Laurel and Hardy, yes. And you think, what's the guy thinking? He's actually not thinking anything most of the time if he's not being interviewed. Now, men have a little room in the centre of the head that we call the nothing room. It's their favourite room. They love to go and sit there four or five times a day. Now, for women, this is an impossible concept. He actually is thinking <laughs> nothing. There's nothing going on in his head. When George Bush is pulling these expressions, he's actually thinking nothing. All of these? Well, if he's on his own, as long as he's not being interviewed, he's not actually well, thinking anything. Well, what if he's anything. being interviewed and let's assume there's a backdrop? Okay, that one. Let's go there. <laughs> well, now that one is a double lip. See, he's turned his lips in mm -hmm. and he's sucking his lips to stop himself from saying, you drop dead or don't ask that stupid question again. So if you don't like what you hear, one of the things that men will do is that version. And women will do it with a tight lip. You're doing it now. Like, no, women will mm. go, you what? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's my husband. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, so when you purse your lips in like that, you... It's a withholding, you are withholding what you're, withholding what you're thinking and feeling. Don't, don't say it, don't worry mm. a friend. So you're holding yourself back. I'm pulling myself okay, back. Now, Barack Obama is re quite regularly seen with his head in his hands. What do we glean from this? Well, he's got a short attention span. Now, if somebody's interested in what you're saying, the, the hand will normally rest on the chin or the side mm. of the face, but it just rests. When the head starts, starts to be supported by the hand, then you're getting boredom setting in. So in this version now... Yeah, no, the that's boredom. That's Even stopping I can pick before. that's boredom. That's right. he, I mean, the guy looks human, doesn't he? He does yeah. actually look like a human being. Mm. He wouldn't use those in public. These are paparazzi-type shots mm. where he didn't really know that they were coming. That praying signal he uses quite a bit. And uh, if he doesn't want to speak, he'll put the praying in front of his mouth. Okay. You remember and when you were a kid, someone did that? Yeah. To stop if, you, if you do that, you mm. just sort of... And stop myself from speaking. Mm -hmm. Don't say anything is what it says. It's almost as good as... Uh, very much the that same. But and what about one of those? If somebody sort of rests in the head there... 
Well, if the finger goes up the side of the, the side of the head, you've got evaluation, but it's critical evaluation. Mm. Now, if it's on the chin uh, and the head's tilted, it's more mm. thinking, oh, that's good, that's interesting. Now I don't like it. Now I'm going to fall asleep. Now I am.